Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Speech of the glorious Quran and the Sunnah about security. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, It is those who have faith and do not mix their faith with idolatry who will be secure, and it is they who are rightly guided. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and that Muhammad is a servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to, to the Day of Judgment. The glorious Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet, peace be upon him, pay great attention to security. The Almighty Allah mentioned security as a blessing from him upon his servants. As he said in his glorious book, he did this to make the Quraysh feel secure, secure in their winter and summer journeys. So let them worship the Lord of this house who provides them with food to ward off hunger, safety to ward off fear. Allah also said, have we not established for them a secure sanctuary where every kind of produce is brought as a provision from us but most of them do not comprehend in another verse Allah the most exalted said can they not see that we have made them a secure sanctuary though all around them people are snatched away then how can they believe in what is false and deny Allah's blessing the Prophet peace be upon him said Whosoever begins the day feeling family, security, and good health, and possessing provision for his day, is as though he possessed the whole world. Since security is a universal human demand by which people's lives go on, a pride and tranquility fills their lives and hearts, it was the first thing Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him, asked from Allah for his family when he said, My Lord, make this land secure and provide with produce those of its people who believe in Allah and the last day. According to another Quranic verse, the Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him, said, Lord, make this town safe. Preserve me and my offspring from idolatry. Also, Prophet Joseph asked Allah to bless Egypt with safety, saying, Enter Egypt, you will all be safe here, Allah willing. Our Prophet, peace be upon him, taught us to ask Allah to grant us security and safety, where he, peace be upon him, said, O Allah, I seek your forgiveness and your protection in this world and the next. O Allah, I seek your forgiveness and your protection in my religion, in my worldly affairs, in my family, and in my wealth. O Allah, conceal my secrets and preserve me from anguish. O Allah, guard me from what is in front of me and behind me, from my left and from my right and from above me. I seek refuge in your greatness from being struck down from beneath me. At the beginning of every lunar month, the Prophet, peace be upon him, used to look at the crescent and ask Allah, saying, O oh Allah, bring us the new moon with security and faith, with peace and Islam. The Prophet, peace be upon him, taught us that the true believer is the one from whom people feel secure and safe. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, The most excellent among the Muslims is the one from whose tongue and hands the other people are secure. Also, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, By Allah, he is not a believer. By Allah, he is not a believer. By Allah, he is not a believer. It was asked, Who is that, O Messenger of Allah? He said, One whose neighbor does not feel safe from his evil. The Almighty Allah informed us that safety will be the recompense for the righteous people on the day of resurrection, and that safety is the greatest reward in paradise. Allah said, whosoever comes with a good deed will be rewarded 
with something better and be secure from the terrors of that day. Allah also said, the righteous will be in paradise with springs, enter it in peace and safety. Also, Allah said in another verse, neither wealth nor children will bring your nearer to us, but those who believe and do good deeds will have multiple rewards for what they have done and will live safely in the lofty dwellings of paradise. All praise is due to Allah, Lord of the worlds. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, his companions and followers. The glorious Quran makes a link between security and faith, highlighting the importance of preserving this blessing and warns against anything that contradicts it. Allah the Almighty said, it is those who have faith and do not mix their faith with idolatry, who will be secure, and it is they who are rightly guided. Allah also said there was a sign for the people of Sheba to, in their dwelling place, two gardens, one on the right, one on the left. Eat from what your Lord has provided for you and give him thanks, for your Lord is good, for your hand, for your land is good, and your Lord most forgiving. But they paid no heed, so we let loose on them a flood from the dam and replaced their two gardens with others that yielded bitter fruit tamarisk bushes and a few low trees. In this way we punished them for their ingratitude would we punish anyone but the ungrateful. Also we had placed between them and the towns we had blessed. <clears throat> Other towns within sight of one another to which they could travel easily, travel safely in this land by night and by day. Allah also said, Allah presents the example of a town that was secure and at ease with provisions coming to it abundantly from all places. Then it became ungrateful for Allah's blessings, so Allah afflicted it with a garment of famine and fear. For what, for what it, its people had done. One of the most important blessings that we must all maintain is the blessing of security in our homelands. If the homeland is lost, there shall be no security or safety. In fact, the preservation of the homelands is a core part of the purposes of religions. O Lord, grant us security in our homelands and maintain your blessing of security and safety for our nations.